My name is Evan Wynn. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to rotoscope in After Effects. Really? What is that? Rotoscoping is a very essential but also easy process in After Effects. It's used to cut out or remove subjects from your footage without having to mask anything. Once you have your clip loaded in, the first thing you're going to do is right click your clip layer, then come over here to transform and then hit fit to comp or fit comp width or fit comp height. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to match your composition settings to your footage height and width so that we don't run into any errors later down the line. Now we can begin the roto process. What you're going to do is you're going to double click your layer and you will see it opens a new composition layer right here and it'll say layer and whatever your file name is. Come over here to the top left hand corner and select your roto brush tool. It looks like a little person with a paintbrush. You'll now see that your cursor is green and if you click and draw over any subject that you want to select, a pink line will appear. This pink line represents your roto brush tool and what is being selected. If After Effects miss selecting any areas after your first selection, you can simply just continue to select. So I'm going to go ahead and select his hand right here and then just a little bit more of his hair. If After Effects selected any areas that you don't want selected, you can simply hold Alt or Option and your roto brush will turn red. And if you draw over any areas that you don't want selected, it will simply go away. You can continue this process of selecting and deselecting until you have an entirely perfectly rotoscoped subject. Now, before we continue on, I just want to highlight, if you come across this error right here, it says frame rate mismatch. Basically what this error is saying is that your footage frame rate is at a different frame rate than your composition. To fix this, you can simply come over here to composition, hit composition settings, and then change the frame rate to exactly the value that the frame rate is asking of. So right here it says 26.768. So mine's is at 29.984. I would simply change this value to 26.768. And once I hit enter, boom, the error is gone and now we have match frame rate. Now for this next part of the rotoscoping process, you're gonna wanna pay attention very closely. Make sure your playhead is of course at the very beginning of your timeline and what you're simply gonna do is drag very, very slowly, just a couple frames at a time. What you'll see happen is the rotoscope pink line will adjust. After Effects is attempting to estimate where your subject is moving and therefore it's going to select those areas. Correcting the errors, you can simply select or unselect depending on what it did. So right here, this arm right here behind my subject's head has been selected. So I'm simply holding Alt and Option to deselect these areas. Once you've adjusted for all proper changes, you can continue to drag along the timeline. Continue this process for the entirety of your clip. And while, yeah, it might be a little bit time consuming, it really does give the best result once all the work is put in. One last quick tip, if you have any complex areas right here like hair and your normal rotoscope tool is just not doing it justice, what you can do is click and hold on your roto brush tool and drag to the refine edge tool. What this will do is you'll turn your rotoscope tool purple and now you see if you draw over any already selected pink rotoscope lines, it will create a black and white selection. The white selection resembles the areas that are selected and the black obviously the ones that are not. You can see there's definitely a lot more detail going on right here in these selections compared to the other simple line rotoscope tool. You can continue to just drag along the rest of your timeline. Because this process can be a bit timely, we are gonna speed this section up. Once you've made it to the end of your clip and you've rotoscoped everything, come over here to the freeze icon and click on it. You will now see that After Effects will freeze in and lock in all of your rotoscope frames. This is basically just like a quick save button in case if you lose all of your effects and you have to redo all that rotoscoping. And boom, once After Effects is finished freezing everything, you can go ahead and come back to your composition original. And you will now see that you have an entirely rotoscope selected subject that is separated from your footage. You can now go ahead and put any footage or text that you want behind your rotoscope layer and you can enjoy your nicely rotoscoped subject on top of it. Here's the final result. They say, don't believe the hype, y'all not fly, only understand the What's wrong with y'all? This shit personal. I never had a personal shot. If you guys made it to the end, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe with notification bell on. It's free. All this content is free, so it really means a lot. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.